distinguished colleagues, I'm Haruna Manu, and I represent the good people of Taraba Central. My motion is on the urgent need to address the challenges of commencing the Mambila hydropower project. The Senate, note that the federal government, through the Federal Ministry of Power, signed a contract with a consortium of Chinese construct contractors comprising CGGC, SHC, CGOC in 2017 to construct a 3,050 megawatt hydroelectric power project known as the Mambila Hydropower Project in Traverse State at the sum of 5 billion 792 million dollars. Also note that the Federal Executive Council of the Buhari Administration approved the said contract with an agreed JB funding structure of 85% from the Chinese consortium CGGC 45%, SHC 35%, and CGOC 20%, and the 15% from the federal government of Nigeria as counterpart funding for the entire project with a 72-month construction period on a site area over 146 square kilometers in Kurmi and Sardona local government areas of Taraba State. Further notes that because of the priority placed on power in the renewed hope agenda of President Bola Ahmad particularly to electricity generation for capacity expansion, the Mambila hydroelectric power project with its capacity to generate 3,050 megawatts and reposition the Ajakoto steel complex with $1.7 billion makes it a priority project of national importance. Aware that the project has great benefit for local content in the area of human capital development, including the creation of over 55,000 jobs, construction of resettlement homes for over 100,000 people, hauling and supplying of over 2.7 million tons of steel, production and supply of over 76 million tons of carry stone, the opportunity for Ashaka and Binwe cement to produce and supply cement and for Stair Nigeria Limited, Depan Limited, and Innocent Vehicle Manufacturing Company Limited to manufacture trucks and participate in over 12,000 trips of haulage and transportation logistics from Lagos and Calabar ports to the host community. Also aware that decades of effort toward the take-up of this national economic asset have been ongoing, including that from the Northeast governors to place the project in implementation mode, the appointment of Hypertech Nigeria by the Chinese consortium as the local content consultant, the creation of presidential interministerial committee comprising four relevant stakeholders, the Federal Minister of Power, Federal Minister of Water Resources and Sanitation, Federal Minister of Finance, Budget and Planning, Federal Minister of Justice in 1999 by the Buhari-led government to effectively coordinate the implementation of the project. 
further aware that a schedule of pre-commencement activities by the government on resettlement, access road, security and air bill has been provided, and 27 MDAs and over 500 companies have already been identified toward the actualization of the 15% local content. The project is to be carried out based on Presidential Executive Order 5, which has been issued to provide the platform for the framework of the local content, especially as it relates